What up YouTube? It's your boy AQ and listen before we get into the video let me just say thanks to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the STC fam. We are on the road to 100k subscribers right now so if you guys appreciate the content show some love right now and like and subscribe. Do so right now. All right, let's get into the video. So this guy DM me. He said, hey man, I'm in the military and I've been deployed for almost six months. So my girl and I are doing long distance at the moment. Sometimes she sucks at communicating and I wanna check and see if her heart is still with me. He gave me her gram and said, hope you can help. You'll be doing me a solid one. I said, thank you for your service. How old is she? He told me she was 24 and I got to work. If you need a loyalty test, I'm doing them on Lazo. The link is in my bio. His girl had a private account, but she accepted my request pretty quickly and followed me back. I liked a couple pictures and commented on one of her stories. I wanted to apply heavy pressure. I said, let me fly you out. She said, this energy, where to? I said, wherever you want. She said, I've never been to Greece. I said, I love Greece. I'm always down to visit again. She said, wait, are you for real? By the way, I've never been to Greece. I don't even know where Greece is for real. I'm just lying and she's eating it up. I said, yeah, I'm dead ass. Send me some dates that work for you. I'll get the tickets. You're single, right? She said, I am in Greece. I said, bet, bet, what's your number? And she gave it to me. She also told me she was looking over her schedule for dates. I low-key felt bad because she thought she was getting a vacation. Her boyfriend was hoping she'd be loyal. They both were wrong. It was time to show him the messages. I sent her boyfriend the screenshots and said, I can keep going, but I'm gonna have to fake some plane tickets. He said, gold digging hoe, we've been together for two years. I said, damn, at least now you know. I'm guessing he was taking this pretty hard, and I would too. He's out here serving on the front line. His girl's trying to get flown out. If you need a loyalty test, I'm doing them now on Lazo. The link is in my bio. Looks like we found another one for the streets. Y'all stay safe out there. Fellas, here's the thing, bro. Once you away from your girl for like two days or more, that's no longer your girl, bro. And some of y'all dudes got to accept that, fam. Don't waste your time with long distance relationships, bro. Women are easily distracted out here. You got social media. Your ass is somewhere out the country while mad dudes in her DMs. You think she's going to give a fuck about you for real, for real, for real, for real, for real? You think she's not going to fuck with them for you? Why? You got to be realistic out here, fam. And don't expect these women to be loyal. They are not. Okay? So, my advice to any dude out here, bro don't get into any long distance relationship that's just the bottom line because these women are easily distracted bro think about it you hoping that your girl <laughs> is loyal and faithful while every time she checks her dm it's two or three different dudes shooting their shot two or three different dudes who probably look better than you two or three different dudes who probably got more money than you you think she's going to keep saying no? Once your girl responds to a man DMs, bro, it's over with, bro. Sad. So I had a man tell me today that women like me are the reason that women like me are single. And the reason that he said that was because we went on a date a few weeks ago and we had a great time. We both really enjoyed ourselves. So the next day, I, we texting or whatever. And I'm like, oh, okay, I had such a good time. Would you be interested in going out again? I got another event coming up, blah, 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 blah. He tells me like, okay, you know, well, I'm not really looking for anything serious right now. So I said, okay, cool. No problem. I totally respect your boundaries. I am looking for something serious. So I'm going to go ahead and move around. Let you have your space to play. So here it is three weeks later, he calling me asking why he haven't heard from me. Why would you hear from me, bitch? Like, are you crazy? And then he talking about, yeah, uh, y'all not willing to put in the, the extra work for the men that y'all want. Bitch, who said I want you? Like, we never made it to the second date to really even determine if that was a fluke or an actual connection, which is why I was trying to go, you know what, it don't matter. I'm not interested, which is what I told you three weeks ago. So, bye. Don't call me. Fucking plan. <laughs> Sensational. Nah, this right here is crazy, man. This chick is saying that we never made it to the second date to see if it was a fluke or an actual connection. That's crazy by itself. So what that means is she pretty much gave it up on the first night. Dude pretty much hit it. And then after he hit She's trying to press the issue like, yo, I'm looking for some serious and all that. And he's like, nah, right now I'm chilling. And she got mad at him and bounced. And it's on to the next dude. 
And this is why I tell you all dudes all the time, bro. Treat a bird like a bird. Absolutely. If a chick is giving it up that easy, I mean, it is what it is. If you think that's something you should wife, go ahead. If you think she's not wifey material, it is what it is. But here's the thing about these birds, fellas. This is why their body count is so high. Because this is what they do. They see a dude that they like or they see a dude that they are into. They get with him. They go on a date. Bust wide open. And then after they give it up, they're looking at him like, okay, so... Okay, so where are we going with this? This is the mindset of these birds. That's why when it comes to some of these women, fellas, you got to have your fun and move around. Because this is the lifestyle of a bird. They get with dude, smash, move on. They get with another dude, smash, move on. Do you understand how many dudes this chick done ran through with this mindset? Fellas, be wise out here, bro. For real. You yeah, doing that I will leave. After 10 years? Yes, I definitely leave. 10 years is crazy. It is. Yeah, because... I, what, if, what if she's like... What if she's like 48? 48? Like, what if she's like 48? You don't know how old that lady is. Babe, your life is not over at 48 or 50. I've seen 50-year-old women. J-Lo is past 50. Like, it's beautiful women out there. You can still get yourself... It's never too late. I don't think it's too late. Nah, it's never too late. I'm not saying it's too late. I'm just saying I think that would make it a little more... Difficult. Yeah, yeah, you just don't know what being with that, she's in because you gotta understand in order to put yourself in her shoes like you're saying it easy like oh i will leave but she hasn't left obviously because she's been there for 10 years so she's not leaving for a but if that's reason. something that you genuinely like really want and the and if you find out that your partner like has no one first of all like he said see if he has intentions of doing it have y'all ever talked about it? Like, has he might it, not. I'm not gonna lie, he might not. Ten years, he might not. Yeah. He might but not if that's something that you want, but maybe he doesn't want, then maybe you need to break up with your boy. The worst thing a man could do is get comfortable in his relationship. Fellas, one thing about women, dog, they go through different phases. And a woman will enter her phase in her life where marriage is the number one thing that she wants. It don't matter how attractive the guy is. It don't matter if that's on top of her list and you're not willing to marry her. She's going to walk away. And here's the thing, bro. She's going to walk away when you least expect it, when you're most comfortable. Now, I'm not saying let a woman pressure you into marrying her. If you don't see a woman as wifey material, but you love her and you still want to be with her, Nothing is wrong with that. But once that woman start pressuring you about marriage, I'm telling you, she's going to leave. And she's going to leave when you least expect it, bro. She's going to leave like when you don't see it coming. It's almost, women are very vindictive. Everything with them are premeditated, well planned out. Women are very meticulous. So here's the thing. Most women does that on purpose just to hurt you. Like, if a woman is pressuring you about marriage and you like, nah, I'm good. Without you knowing, she's hurt. She's looking at you like, damn, this nigga hurt me. So while you thinking she respected your decision, whole time she's planning to hurt you. And right when you need her the most, bro, that's when she gonna leave you. So the bottom line is this, fellas. Never get too comfortable and think your girl will not leave you if marriage is on top of a list, bro. Facts. If you haven't yet, go get you some of that merch. You all already know, don't feed the birds. That's what it is. We don't feed the birds over here. So if you rock with your boy, go get you some of that good merch.